after my mother died, my father fell in blood with a glamorous, blonde Ukrainian divorcee. He was 84 and she was 36. <coughs> she exploded into our lives like a fluffy pink grenade, churning up the murky water, bringing to the surface a sludge of sloughed off memories, giving the family ghost to kick up the backside. It all started with a phone call. My father's voice, quavering with excitement, crackles down the line. Good news, Nadezhda, I am getting married. I remember the rush of blood to my head. Please let it be a joke. Oh, he's gone bonkers. Oh, you foolish old man. But I didn't say any of those things. Oh, that's nice, Papa, I say. Yes, yes. She is coming with her son from Ukraine, from Ternopil in Ukraine. Ukraine, he sighs, breathing in the remembered scent of mown hay and cherry blossom. But I catch the distinct synthetic whiff of New Russia. Her name is Valentina, he tells me, but she is more like Venus. Botticelli's Venus rising from the waves. Golden hair, charming eyes, superior breasts. When you see her, you will understand. She sounds gorgeous, but it's just that there could be problems. No, no, says Papa. There will be no problems. He has anticipated all problems. He has known her for three months. She has an uncle in Selby and has come to visit him on a tourist visa. She wants to make a new life for herself and her son in the West. A good life, with good job, good money, nice car, absolutely no Lada, no Skoda. Good education for self, must be Oxford, Cambridge, nothing less. She is an educated woman, has a diploma in pharmacy. She will easily find well-paid work once she learns English. And in the meantime, he is helping her with her English, and she's cleaning the house and looking after him. She sits on his lap and allows him to fondle her breasts. They are happy together. Did I hear that right? She sits on my father's lap and he fondles her superior body cherry and breasts. Oh well, I keep my voice steady, but rage burns in my heart. And so there's quite a lot of rage in this book, as you can imagine. There's rage between the father and the daughters. There's rage between the two daughters who are sisters, who disagree about almost everything. And there's rage between the daughters and Valentina. And then in the end, there's also rage between Papa and Valentina. So the next little bit I'm going to read to you from this book, it's one of these episodes of rage. If anybody wants to come in now, this is a good time before I start. Is it, is it, is it,